Hi everyone, welcome to 7th tutorial on NV series in JS and RS solution channel. I already uploaded 6 tutorial on NV from basic level. If you did not watch this yet, check my videos. Uh, anyway, today I will show you how to perform land use and land cover mapping using supervised image classification techniques in NV. Uh, for doing that, uh, you will need satellite image, uh, study audio shape file. If you don't know how to download satellite image, then you can check this video. Also, if you don't know how to download a JS shape file of any location, then you can check this video as well. Uh, start NV. I'm gonna add my uh, image. Go to uh, file, then open. Select image file, then click open. This is my image file. Go to data manager icon. Select band 4, 3, and 2. Uh, to change the uh, color 4, 3, 2 uh, which is uh, natural color you can uh, increase the brightness of the image also you can increase uh, contrast yeah and this is sharpen So you can see over here uh, the images looks quite good than before. If you don't know uh, how to uh, clip your uh, image according to the shape file then you can check this video and please uh, subscribe this channel if you did not do that yet. go to toolbox then right here classification you can see here classification or flow appears double click on this icon file selection uh, in input raster I will add uh, my image file then click OK for in input mask uh, I will uh, add my study area shape file So open file and I'm selecting my study area shape file. This is my study area shape. Then click open. OK. Then click next. Here's classification type. Uh, two types of classification we know. No training data uh, represents unsupervised classification. So I will uh, perform supervised classification, supervised classification dialog appears. You can add a class from this icon and also you can delete your class from this icon. Save training dataset, you can save your training dataset. So first, uh, I will uh, create uh, the first class. I'm going to name it settlement and you can also change the color from here. So now I will create a training dataset for the settlement. Training data are samples of uh, homogeneous areas selected as input into a supervised classification. So I have taken uh, some 
training for settlements and then second class I'm going to name it barren land then I'm changing the color for barren land You should take as much uh, as much as samples for each uh, class. Then uh, I will add the third class agriculture. change uh, red green blue bands i mean i uh, rgb bands select band 5 4 and uh, 3 so this is a uh, false color tone i'm changing uh, because uh, in uh, false color tone uh, the agriculture land and vegetation uh, looks uh, quite uh, better In here uh, light pink color uh, represents uh, agricultural land so I'm taking some training samples for agriculture vegetation changing the color as deep green the last uh, class water body I'm going to change the color as blue So you can see over here, here is my uh, training data that I have taken. You can save your training data from this button. Save training data to vector file. Select output file. So I'm going to uh, give it a name, training data click open then ok uh, algorithm uh, in this drop down list you can see several algorithm uh, technique so here I will select maximum likelihood then click next clean up refine results so uh, our supervised classification has been done now you can uh, export your results export classification results uh, select file where you want to save your results I'm giving a name classific classified image then click open also you can export a classification 
uh, as vector file I mean shape file then click finish you can see over here this is the shape file of my classified image i hope uh, now we can able to prepare land use map by yourself in the next video i will upload how to perform accuracy assessment of a classified image and please subscribe and stay with us bye bye